what's up everyone welcome to your fifth Photoshop project and in this project I'm gonna be going over how to take a regular image and convert it into a comic book looking image now before you go on any further make sure you're watching these projects in high def I'll put a link on the right hand side of the screen under the description so once you have your image and you guys might want to pick a more comic book a uh, themed image but I just picked the first image I got to have two of my friends you're gonna wanna go up to image at the top go to adjustments and go to levels and you're gonna wanna go ahead and use this to lighten the image and you do this to give it more of a comic book feel you're also gonna wanna bring out the contrast so um, move these around until you have a high contrast and a lighter image and go ahead and click OK. And those settings will be different with every image so just play around with it. The next thing you're going to want to do is duplicate this background because when we're applying filters to it we're not going to be able to change the background. So go ahead and grab it and drag it over here and you want to be working on your background copy from now on. Now from here go up to filter go to artistic and go to film grain now go ahead and as you can see what this does is kind of make your uh, image a more grainy it looks more like a painting than uh, image and that's what we want so go ahead and adjust it and I'm gonna adjust mine so my grains about two my highlighted area is about two as well and I want my intensity right about 9. Now as you see we have more um, painting looking rather than an image. Click OK. Now for the comic book look. Now that we have an image that looks more like a painting we can go ahead and apply the printing pixels that you see on comic books. Go to filter, pixelate, and you're, from here you want to go to color halftone go ahead and click 4 or whatever suits your image and I'm gonna click OK and as you see you get all these printing dots over your image now these are uh, these resembles the printing dots that they use when they're on a printing press but we don't want the dots right like that we want them to blend in with the image more so to do this make sure you got your background copy and go ahead and select darken and as you see our dots now blend in with our image now we have a kind of comic book look and feel to it so now let's add some comic book text for this I'm gonna go over to the shape and get a custom shape and at the top you can see all the shapes uh, let me find let's uh, get all the shapes here so go ahead and click all and I want a uh, kind of comic booky looking shape, so what do I want to choose? Uh, here we go. There's a good one. All right, I'm choosing this a little splatter, and I'm just gonna put a splatter right there, and I'm gonna change it to dark red. So let me go click that and change it to dark red and now we have this big comic book looking splatter now um, let's go to layer layer style stroke and what this is gonna do if we click this and turn change it to black it's gonna give us that nice thick black outline like in comic books now let's go ahead and once we have that go ahead and create a text layer just go ahead and uh, click text and once you start typing you can see it automatically makes a new layer you don't have to make anything so let's uh... type some text actually let's go ahead and select some text um, let's see that looks like a nice comic book looking thing for now and i'll type sleep since uh... that's what my friend tim's doing sleeping right now now i can go ahead and change that to a yellow let's go with a yellow uh, make it a little bigger and let's go add a stroke to this so again make sure you're on layer number one go to layer 
layer style stroke change it to nice black okay okay now you can see it says sleep with a little blast over it and to move this around go up to make sure you're on your sleep layer once again or whatever your says go down to edit free transform now let's move this over let's rotate it a tidbit and there you have it go press enter and now you have a nice comic book looking image and again make sure your image is a little better than mine this is kind of actually this is a terrible image I picked for a comic book but uh, if you got an image of someone's face or something it looks much better so that is the basics of how you make a comic book looking image with comic book text so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time thanks